Hi guys, this is Unkyu Lee, the builder of MicroJournal. What you're seeing here is MicroJournal revision 2.1, and this is writing focused device. So you can think this as a typewriter in a digital format. With a typewriter, you can only write, and what this device is trying to achieve is to create a focused environment in writing. So I'm gonna show you how to write with this device. When you turn it on, you will be faced with this with dashboard and you can click on new file or new text and press enter and you will enter a writing software. And here you can start writing. And this, this is Word Grinder where you can do a lot of stuff. Word Grinder is really nice uh, editor because whatever you type it will be always in the middle of your screen so you don't have to move your eyes too much to find where you are currently so it's a very nice once you have done your writing you can press ctrl s to save and then you can exit and all the files are saved in this document folder okay and the word grinder file will be saved as a wg and in order to export this what you can do is to run share uh, script. What this will do is it will run um, a small web server and then you can access this uh, URL from your web browser and then you will have access to all the files that were in the documents folder. So you can copy your files from your PC. Okay, That's how you would export the files. Another way you can do, let me show you how to move your files to USB drive. So at the back of the device, there is a USB port where you can plug in a USB thumb drive like this. And then in the dashboard, click on connect USB disk and you will see a folder called disk. So how you would copy a file is that you go to a document folder and then press YY this will copy the file and then go to the disk folder and press PP and it will paste the text file. And so you can have this text file copied over here. So this is how you would uh, uh, copy through the USB drive. And then after that, you would do a safe removal of USB. So once you click it, now the disk folder is gone. And then now you can, now you can safely remove the USB disk from the device. And in this USB disk, you will have the, the file so you can actually have it on your PC or other devices that you like to transfer your file to. Okay, so now let's look at some ports and, and the devices. So as you can see, there are knob here. On this side of the knob, we'll do up and down. As you saw in the demo video, it will go uh, up and down really quickly in your text, just like a typewriter. And on the side, this is a uh, left and right. So using these two combinations of knobs, you can move through your text really quickly. And the button here is a power button. So clicking uh, twice will turn it off. Uh, you would sh shut down, uh, you will do a soft shutdown of the device. And you can see that the from behind, you will see that the red light is on, means that battery system is still on. So you, if you want to completely power off, you can do twice and click it twice and then the, the battery is off. From at the back of the device, you will see there will be a USB port and the power switch. This is where you can see the level of the battery. And this is the USB port to charge the battery. All right, so now the most complicated part of the build is the battery system, power system. So this has a battery inside right now, so it will power on just by clicking, okay, need to turn it on. And if you click once, it will switch on the, the battery and it will start to turn it on. And after 30 seconds, it will boot up. And there's also another way to run it. You can also run it without the battery and in that case, you would need to connect a power cable, USB power cable to, to this port, and it will supply the power through your power supply, which will run without a battery. All right, so I'm just gonna shut it down. 
Okay. Now turn it off. And then you will connect this port here. And then when you switch on the battery uh, power switch from behind, it will turn on and then you will be able to use it without the battery. One thing you have to be careful is that when you connect the, the USB charging cable, then the system will turn off, it will reset. Uh, so be careful uh, not to connect the cable uh, without saving your files. So in order to turn off when you are on the, on the power cable, the, it's the same thing as you do a soft shutdown and then uh, turn off the power switch and then it will be off like this. So when you want to turn it on, you turn on the power switch and then it will be on automatically. So this is how you would turn it on. Now I'm going to show you how to install the battery. So uh, you can open this compartment by removing these two screws. Okay. okay it's, uh, it's locked under the display so you kind of have to pull it like that and then you will have access to those system right there. Now, uh, up to these three batteries, you can actually run it with just one battery or no battery or two batteries, three batteries, four batteries is up to you uh, how you want to run it. More batteries installed, uh, longer it will run outside. So there is a little issue that you can install these three batteries uh, without any problem, but the last battery is, uh, is a bit difficult to access. Okay. So in order to install that battery, you will need to remove uh, this screw, this screw, and the screws on, on this side, and then open it up a li little bit so that the display can go up, and then you will have uh, room to install the last battery. Um, it's a bit complicated for, the, for installing the battery, but you can actually run it with just three, and that would give you a pretty good uh, portability already. But if you want to install that last battery, you kind of have to remove the enclosure. Um, I'm sorry for that design. I just, uh, it's, based, it's already using a lot of space because of the battery and the, I wanted to, uh, and the, that, it was a kind of a compromise that I did there. Okay, so that's how you would install the battery. Once the, the battery is installed, you can, uh, screw this back in this is a bit difficult to install just make sure that the screw hole is well aligned because if you push it too much it, it can actually not align well so just make sure that the hole of the screw is well aligned to the screw hole and then you can screw back in. Okay, so that's how you would install the battery. Right, so this is open source project. So I will have all the build guides and the bill of materials so that you can buy the components by yourself and build it yourself. And if you have a 3D printer and if you know how to solder, you will be able to build it by yourself. Uh, but if you don't have these skills, but you still want to have this, you can order from my Tindy store. Also ask me to assemble it. And you can ask also for me to install the keycaps and switches and so on. So you can buy, um, buy is not the right word, but you can actually ask uh, me to assemble it for you and I will assemble it for you and ship it to you. Uh, also you can, this as, as this is a 3D printed project, you can actually change the color of every component here. You can change the color of the enclosure, you can change the color of the knob, you can change the color of the display enclosure, also the this display ports and the label colors. So you can ask this kind of uh, color customization uh, when you print yourself, of course, you can choose what, whatever you want. If you're asking me to build it, um, please uh, send me a message what kind of color you want and I, we can do an exchange. I can send you a 3D render how it's going to look like 
and then we can discuss how you want your color customization can be. So yeah, that's it. And I really like this build. I really like how it looks because you can use this uh, angle goes quite far so you can p uh, place it on your lap to write. And uh, uh, also this is a Raspberry Pi computer so you can use it for uh, many other things than the writer deck itself. So it has a lot of potential and it looks really nice. I love it. And I, I, I hope I can share this excitement with you guys and um, have fun. Bye.